Joining me now in an exclusive broadcast interview is Lisa Su, the AMD CEO and chair. Lisa, good to see you. Um, it's yeah, two and a half years ago, almost to the day, you completed the Xilinx acquisition. That was huge, multiples bigger than this, but it also dramatically expanded your total addressable market. So how should we measure, how should investors measure the way ZT expands either your total addressable market or your speed to market in the data center? Absolutely. John, great to see you this afternoon. And, you know, it's a big day for AMD. Uh, we're really excited with the um, the announcement about the acquisition of uh, ZT Systems. You know, ZT Systems is one of the, uh, you know, most capable um, hyperscale solutions providers. And they're really focused on, you know, the largest data centers in the world. So if you think about our strategy, you know, our strategy is about high performance computing and AI as the largest growth vector for us over the next couple of years. And, you know, we've talked about about the size of this AI TAM. Uh, we believe the AI TAM and data center accelerators alone is over 400 billion by 2027. It's a huge opportunity. And we've been investing for the long run and investing in that strategy. So it's, it's about you know, our silicon solutions, which are really capable, our software solutions, which are really capable. And now we add sort of the third leg of that stool, which is the system solutions that really wraps it all together. So it's really exciting um, opportunity for us and, you know, great team that we're bringing on board. Lisa, color that in a little bit for me, because a lot of people, I think, think about, well, AI as, okay, just sell a bunch of chips, sell as many as you can. But it seems to me more like, you know, you can't just sell couches uh, sectional couches, you got to have the right color. You, the customer has to know that it fits within their space. How do things like cooling or, or even designing for specific applications fit into the capabilities that ZT is going to give you and perhaps you imagine allow you to sell more of AMD's AI solutions into the marketplace? Yeah, it's a great point. And, you know, look, we have invested in all of the pieces. And so when you think about the components, the chips are really important. Uh, the software is super important because it helps, uh, you know, developers really, uh, you know, access uh, the capability uh, through applications. But then when you think about the data centers of tomorrow, I mean, we're talking about data centers that have like hundreds of thousands of servers in them. And they really need to be, uh, you know, really fully optimized from silicon to software to systems. That's what ZT Systems does for us. It really adds, you know, sort of that end-to-end -end capability. And, you know, I like your analogy. It's not about, you know, just the, the couch. Yes, the couch has to be great, but frankly, you need the entire um, house to be, uh, you know, all put together with all the pieces. And when we look forward, what we're seeing is that you actually optimize each of those pieces, silicon, software, and solutions together. Um, one of the things that's really important, John, is look, we love the open ecosystem. We're all about enabling, you know, not just our own solutions, but really enabling our entire ecosystem of OEM and um, manufacturing partners. And so we're still going to do all that. We're just going to come with uh, really a very, very strong foundation to build the largest data centers in the world. Now, when I first saw the, the announcement of this deal, I thought, is Lisa, is AMD going to be competing with Supermicro here? But no, you're spinning off the manufacturing business. Tell me about your decision-making process there and what the value is of a manufacturing business that has locations not just in Asia, but in the U.S., and Europe uh, in, in a very high revenue, high margin category. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, ZT has uh, really built, um, you know, systems and rack scale systems for um, some of the largest data centers in the world. So they've built, you know, a phenomenal design team, uh, which is going to be super important uh, for our um, overall, you know, AI systems and solutions uh, strategy. And they also have a phenomenal manufacturing operation that's going to be really good, you know, as part of a larger manufacturing, you know, at scale operation. So I think this is really about, you know, optimizing the capabilities of a wonderful company. And more importantly, Importantly, it's it's building out the ecosystem around you know AMD solutions. So we are not in the business of competing with our customers. Frankly, we love to make the ecosystem around AMD even broader. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time with our top customers um, over the uh, you know the past uh, you know 24 hours or so. Uh, people are really excited about what we're putting together. Um, they view that you know this is about a bet into the future of what AI systems and AI infrastructure is going to look like. Uh, we're all about you know building upon the incredible ecosystem ecosystem that we have, but bringing the best technology to market as fast as possible. So let's deploy, you know, these leading edge, um, you know, clusters and data center level uh, systems with um, all of the great technology, but also ensuring that everyone gets to innovate on top of that.